Yes, Shahid, am I audible to you? Is the yes, screen sharing? Yes. Okay, see, in the last class, we had uh, completed Helmholtz coil arrangement. Now, see, we have to start with Ampere circuital law. Yes, what was Ampere circuital law, Shahid? I had asked you to revise. Uh, integration of uh, B dot TL is equal to nu naught out. Yes, uh, Ampere circuit law basically says that that integral of the magnetic field, if you take the line integral of magnetic field around a closed loop, it is mu naught times the current that is enclosed. This is the Ampere circuit law. All right. So remember that this law is suitable for infinitely long and symmetrical distributions also. This is valid for symmetrical. As well as infinite distribution. Infinite distribution. So symmetrical and infinite distribution. Now, when we talk about magnetic forces, magnetic force, okay, this is this we'll discuss magnetic force concept we'll discuss in the next lesson. Now, when we come to ampere circuit laws application, so remember we did um see. One question we have done in the main class. The formula for a uh, magnetic field due to infinitely long straight conductor. If it's a straight conductor, then uh, then the magnetic field is mu naught I by 2 pi R. Right? Remember for solid cylinder and hollow cylinder, we did cylindrical cases. So that was concentric one. But if magnetic field due to only infinite solid cylinder is there, this is due to current carrying straight conductor. All right, the magnetic field due to infinitely long uh, solid cylinder. Long cylinder means Cylinder is extending up to from plus infinity to minus infinity, right? It is extending up to uh, from minus infinity to plus infinity. So the formula of this, uh, when we are taking a point outside, inside that you have to uh, consider, when we are taking a point that is inside, this is the radius is R, ampere circuited loops, uh, radius is smaller. So if it is due to a cylinder inside, it is mu naught i r divided by 2 pi capital R. So this is directly proportional to what? Radius. All right. Inside magnetic field, this is directly, directly proportional to the radius. Then uh, one point you can take at the axis. So axis always, we have discussed that magnetic field at any axis, this will be always zero. All right, that is due to the axis. When we talk about outside, outside formula, mu naught I by 2R. So here magnetic field outside becomes inversely proportional to one. And this is what in fine a magnetic field due to infinitely long solid cylinder. Then uh, comes your hollow cylinder. See, uh, the formula of hollow cylinder is a little tricky. Hollow cylinder means, see, again, the cylinder is present. And the edges are extending from plus infinity to minus infinity. Now, the formula of this is a little lengthier, so you have to keep this in mind. Magnetic field is actually mu naught i by 2 pi r. This is easy till here. Now, when we are talking about a cylinder, there are also, when we are talking about a hollow cylinder, hollow means this is empty from inside. So a hollow concavity is present. That is, it is sort of 
concentric type. So mu naught i by 2r, that is r square minus a square by b square minus a square. A and b are the radio. All right. A and b are the radio. A is for inner one I have taken. And b is for the outer one. Fine. B is for the inner one. Then that is for the outer one. This is long uh, hollow cylindrical conductor. Let me write it. This is long hollow This is long hollow cylindrical conductor. Fine. So these were certain figures you had to know. Uh, one or two questions we'll practice and we'll move on further. Do one thing. First note it down. Then we'll see the applications.
Shall I note down this question? Then I'll discuss this with you. I'll ask you the steps. So carefully write it down. Yes, Shahid, what are the steps? How will we solve this question? Yes, Shahid, at least just tell me the steps, then I'll tell the solution. How will you start this question? Um, if you apply the P is equal to mu naught, mu r mu naught i by 2 pi. Yes, you will multiply mu not with mu r, correct. See. Let me tell you, see, it says that a long straight solid conductor of radius 5 meter centimeter carries a current of 3 amperes, which is uniformly distributed over its circle or cross section. Find the magnetic field induction at a distance 4 centimeter from the axis. See the formula which we own, which we initially used, that only had mu naught. You will multiply mu r, and rest of the story remains the same. That's it. That's it. It's a very short question, though. You just have to remember this. Mu r mu naught current uh, is three, and radius is four. No, so that becomes zero point zero divided by 2 into 3.14 this is 0 0.05 so this whatever you get is your answer let me check the answer i'll let you know by the time you write it down uh, 
I'm I'm getting one point two into ten to the power minus two of this. How much you getting? One point two into ten to the power minus two. No, the answer is actually nine point six into ten to the power minus three Tesla. This is the answer. Please check the calculations once. You can cross check it later. Can we proceed further, Shahid? Yes, ma'am. Okay. See, solenoid we have discussed. What is the formula of solenoid? Magnetic field due to a solenoid. U not uh, N I. How much? U not N I. When uh, I'm asking, what is the magnetic field due to solenoid? Your voice was cracking. Magnetic field is equal to U naught and I. And it's yes. number of turns per unit length. U naught and I. Perfect. So magnetic field due to solenoid is B is equal to U naught and I. This is there in your CBSE syllabus. This is enough for you. But when it comes to J, one more concept you have to remember. This I'll show you with the help of figure. This is suppose the section of solenoid. Okay. Here, inwards, all were and here outwards, like this we take. So magnetic field if If inside at a random point P, here it is asked, and you have both the angles here. This angle, this is theta 1, and this angle is theta 2. Then magnetic field at this point P, this is given by mu naught Ni by 2. Till here it will be easy for you. Cos theta 1 minus cos theta. What is a BP? Okay, if these two angles are given to you, theta 1 and theta 2, uh, one thing that you should remember that they are measured along the axis. These angles are actually along the axis because this is not a cylinder. This is actually current coming out, going in, coming out, going in, coming out, going in like this. See, if you keep all the angles value as 0 and 180, you will get the formula back, mu naught n i. Right? So from this also, it, it, it is derived. Uh, let me give you a question based upon this one. Um, what is uh... By the time I'm writing the question, you copy down this. P point, uh, see P point is a point at its axis. Means, remember solenoid is like this actually. So there is an axis. This is the axis of the solenoid. Now on this axis, we are considering a point this. This is the point. 
Okay. So one angle, this is theta, this is theta two like this. But here I am representing it through dot and cross because here, or uh, because of the loops, it will be confused. Okay. So it's actually an axial point. Just remember sure. it. The, this formula is for the axial point. Yes, I try this question.
Yes, answer. Five minutes I've given. Uh, 3.14 How much you're getting? I... How much? 3.14 into 10 to the power minus 7. Without I... N and I, how will you have your answer? Because value of current is also not given. How did you solve it? What What is the first step that I should follow, Shahid? Uh, if, uh, when you not I by 2 uh, N and I put N and I that as it is. Yes, Shahid, which formula should I apply? You not N I by first theta one minus one theta. Okay. So I have theta one and theta two with me? Yes. Sixty and thirty. Hmm? Or sixty minus first theta. I'm asking theta 1 and theta 2, do I have with me? Yes. What is cos theta? What is theta 1? Cos 60. And what is theta 2? Cos 30. Shahid, just look here. What was theta 2? The is bigger this angle? The angle? No. Got it? If, even if this is given 60 degree, 30 degree, that will be 90 degrees. So this will become 120 degree. This is your theta 2. This is your theta 1 and this is your theta 2. Clear? Yes. So now here you will put all the values. Mu naught Ni by 2. Cos 30 degree minus cos 120 degree. So this becomes mu naught Ni by 2 root 3 by 2 and this is minus half. So this actually becomes plus. Mu naught Ni by 4 from here, root 3 will be left plus this is the answer. Note it down. Uh, Shahid, done? Yes, ma'am. Uh, one thing, Shahid, if you have multiple magnetic dipoles,
so you will be having one magnetic moment you will be having another magnetic moment so magnetic moment net will be given through the simple formula m1 square plus m2 square plus 2 m1 m2 cos theta all this within the roots and if we suppose this is one magnetic moment this is second mag this is one and this is second this is the resultant which we are calculating which is m this was theta this will be beta just a second Uh, yes, Shail. So tan phi, this is m2 sine theta divided by m1 plus m2 cos theta. Note it down. Meanwhile, I am writing one question.
Yes, Shahid, answer. See a steel wire. Any answer, Shahid? Uh, it uh, is of the initial. How much? 2M. 2M. 2M you're getting, Shahid? 2M? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 2M. See, if M is the pole strength, then uh, M is equal to ML. So, magnetic strength, this becomes M by L, right, for unit. If it is bent in the form of semicircle, then length is what? Length is pi R, right? So, R yes. becomes L by pi, correct? Yes. So, new magnetic moment this time is 2R. New magnetic moment this time, uh, this new magnetic moment is m into 2r so m was m by l 2 into what is r r is l by pi so answer is 2 m by pi not just 2 m clear yes ma'am note it down quickly Now from this lesson, we are left with small portions only. Work done, no. Okay, the next lesson is now left. Now the next lesson for chapter five, this completes our chapter four. Chapter five, three, we'll do some of the portions I have to discuss that I'll do in the next class. That will take only one class. So next week we'll complete chapter five so that we can start with EMI. Because EMI, AC, these are very small lessons. You also know that major time is taken in these. Note it down. Or uh, uh, have you done it? Yeah, I'm doing. Okay, just let me know once you have completed. Thank you. 